Octagon for the first time. He doesn't look wide-eyed necessarily here, but you have to be mindful of a possible adrenaline dump that could really affect your cardio if you're not ready for it. has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, making his UFC debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 138 pounds. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Cruz. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A wrestler holding a professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 144 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Kid Dynamite! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Great. Here we go with round one. The UFC debut has finally arrived for this young man. It's a feel-good story, undeniably. He's got a lot of friends and family in the building. And given what he did on the regional scene. Oh! oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt the back. Goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight out of the gut. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Back to the feet now. How's he gonna follow this? Oh. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DZ, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and 
for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds in the very first round. Declare the winner by knockout. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. You knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.